Hello and welcome back to another 3D ROS tutorial. Today we're going to go over basic trigger boxes in Unreal Engine. So to start off with I'm going to grab a sound from my folders. So this is just a general ding sound that I've downloaded and we're going to make this sound play when we enter the trigger box. So just drag your sound in. Uh, do note that it has to be a WAV file or a WAV file to play in Unreal Engine. And then in your modes tab, if you don't have this, you just go to window modes, make sure it's selected, go to basic, scroll down to box trigger, drag this in, hit R and scale it up. So now we'll want to go to blueprints, level blueprint. And this is a blueprint that controls the level. And you just want to right click Add event for trigger box 3, but make sure your trigger box is selected in the editor first, or this won't show up. Add event trigger box, collision, act to begin overlap. Now drag this pin out, hold and left click, and then let go, and type in play sound 2D. Just left click that, and then select select assets. Select your ding sound effect and click compile and then save it. So now if we'll go back to the example map and hit play. When the player walks in that invisible trigger box, the ding sound will play. Like so. So now if you wanted multiple ding sounds, you can hold alt to duplicate this trigger box. But the problem with that is if you go into your level blueprint, you'll need to create another overlap for that to work again. So if you want multiple, you can just go to right click in your content browser, go to blueprint class, actor, just name it ding box. And now if we double click that, and then where it says add component, just create a cube. Just gonna scale this cube up three by three by three. Zoom out. Now under collision presets, I'm gonna go down to trigger. I'm gonna compile and save. Now I'm gonna go into the event graph for this ding box. And then where it says event actor begin overlap, just drag out like we did before. Play sound 2D. Oops, sorry. Play sound. 2D, select our sound from the drop down, compile, save, close this. Now, if we drag our ding box in, now and hold Alt and duplicate it around. And now, when we go in each of these boxes, it should play a ding sound. So, you could use that for collecting items, and you can also, if we go into the ding box, in the viewport, just select the cube and then you can go down to hidden in game, compile and save it again. And now, when we play the game, then boxes will be disappeared. But when you go into the area, it'll still play the sound. So, that's how you do basic triggers in Unreal Engine 4. I hope you enjoyed this. And for more Unreal Engine tutorials, please subscribe to 3D Ross. Thank you.